what their real problem is with us and social media. Hello friends. I hope as always this video finds you well. So I had thought of um, of something a couple weeks ago and uh, I wanted to do a video on it but it just kind of got away from me. And um, But I, th I thought about it again because I had I have someone commenting on my videos a Sussex Squad member commenting on my videos and, and she she asked a question I forget what it was and I just said you know what is the issue here you know I don't I don't step out of bounds with Meghan Markle I don't think I mean you know I guess that depends on who you ask but I don't step out of bounds I don't do anything and I only have 5,000 subscribers like what is the issue and then I thought and then I was like oh yeah so I just wanted to touch on, so I have Biden here, so he's going to represent the Dems. And then there's um, COVID, that's something else that there's been an issue with. And we have Trump, they hate Trump, and the MAGA supporters, and the, you know, uh, QAnoners, I guess you, they throw that in with Trump, and things like that. And then they have a problem with people that criticize Meghan Markle. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about that, and what the reason why is and then you have all your you know some just you know some mainstream media up there and what the differences is and, and what's going on so let's get started thank you thank you thank you so let me just read this this um headline here why is trust in the media plummeting just look at what's happening in CNN. At CNN, well, they've got a bunch of problems. Uh, I don't need to get into those. Um, the fallout at CNN should be a wake-up call for everyone in the media. Trust is hard to win and very easy to lose. Now, they have some, you know, uh, human resource issues there, if you will. But, you know, people do not trust the mainstream media, even even um you know, you know left wing and right wing, they don't trust it because they're all bought and paid for. They're all owned by huge conglomerates. Um, you know, journalists can be bought. There's always an agenda. You know, in Meghan Markle's case, uh, her PR people have re relationships with um journalists, news. I mean, it's just all. It's just you know. I mean, it's. They're all on the take. You can't believe anything that they say because it's all money driven by who they're owned, owned by who, what political leanings they have, etc., etc. So I just want to show you a couple things. And now this is just going to be very general. And I just th these were the best kind of like graphs or charts I could I could show. And this is I'm just going to general generalize here because I do have my democratic my Democrat listeners that I adore. And then I had one comment the other day. She said, I'm a raging liberal from California and I love your channel. So, so just, you know, those are just, this is just general. And, and as far as Americans go, you know, this is just what I could find. Um, this is obviously, I'm just going to think probably how the whole world feels. So you have the Dem Americans trust in mass media by political party. And for the most part, the people that dislike Meghan Markle are more of conservative leaning, no matter what country you're in, whatever you want to call that. And the people that like her are, are Democrats and you're more, you know, liberal left leaning people, whatever you call that in each country. That's just the generalization general so the democrats and this started i guess they started you know so your left-leaning people i'm not even going to call and even your left you know what i mean so there's starting in 1998 or slightly before was uh 64 they 64 percent of them trusted the media and now up to 2020 to where this goes 73 percent trust them and then your your more left right leaning people doesn't look like they really ever trusted, but forty one percent in nineteen ninety seven or ninety eight, and then in twenty twenty only ten percent 
trust the mass media. Why? So I'm going to say that, you know, the mainstream media is mostly, you know, you have your Fox News, which is known to be, you know, right wing, if you will. But you can't even trust some of those journalists. And I guess they're fair, fair and balanced that they have all on there. But, you know, I mean, it's, you know, um, but the majority of the, the news outlets, you know, your Washington Post, that's owned by Jeff Bezos. We all know the story. They're all pretty much Democrat um, news outlets. Whether it's just because they're bought and paid for or that's their political leanings. But that's the fact. So they trust the media, which means they own the media. That doesn't tell you something that the Democrats trust at all. I mean, look at that stark difference. You have a 63-point difference there. So what's that tell you? Right? And then just America, Americans' trust in general has gone from 53% to 40%. Hang on, I want to look back at something. So you have here in 2016, which was the presidential election in uh, Hillary Clinton and, and Donald Trump, that dropped from 14%. And then when Trump was in the office, it shot up because, you know, and then it, it dropped again during the election time. And I'm just using this politics because it's just a general, and, um, and Meghan Markle's people are all involved with politics. We get it. We got it. Uh, Americans trust in mass media is only 40%. Assume it's going to be similar other places. 40, only 40% 40 have a great deal or a fair amount of trust in the mass media. So the bottom line is Americans' confidence in the media to report the news fairly, accurately, and fully has been persistently low for over a decade and shows no signs of improving. As Republicans and Democrats' trust moves in opposite directions, the political polarization that grips the country is reflected in partisan views of the media, blah, blah, blah. So then that brings us to us people like myself um you other youtubers i know in other sectors of youtubes they're having the same problem theirs isn't so much political though but they are having the same problem with the types of people that are trying to silence them now they're out of the entertainment industry and um you know as we all know the majority of the people in the entertainment industry whether that's lawyers agents managers and everything tend to be democrats so that comes to us then. And that 40%, so there were the Democrats that thought, believe the media, but then you go back to the American Americans, and it's only 40% trust it. According to statistics, only 40% of all Americans still believe things in the mainstream media tells them. Because they know it's a bunch of shite and fed and PR. This is the lowest level of trust ever reported by the Gallup survey, but that's not all. Another survey shows that most of, most of the Americans turn to social media instead looking for the latest information about politics and government or entertainment news or a mixture of both. So the reason why we're so dangerous is because, and, and social media in general or Twitter or whatever, is because they know that people... Social media is where you go. Yeah, there's a lot of crap on social media. Yeah, whatever. But they see a whole bunch of different things. They they go to social media to see all of it and then decide for themselves and or they think that social media is where the truth is going to be. Like, I only have 5,000 subscribers. I make, like, nothing on my YouTube channel. I am paid, bought and paid for, paid by no one. So I don't have an agenda other than to just, well, we all know what's happening. I'm dragged into this, but I just say what I think and show I cite everything, as do other people. And people watch things on social media or go to Twitter or look around because they know they're getting 
a an opinion or, or an outlook that's not driven by anything, anyone, or any money. So the fact that the Democrat types are just, you know, people involved with that, like, for example, Meghan Markle, control the mainstream media. Okay, they got that covered. So in order for them to be successful, they got to get rid of the people on social media so then nobody hears anything. Because they're not so, I mean, Megan sued the Daily Mail, but that wasn't over, like, stuff they were saying about her. It was over that letter. So I think you guys can see what's going on. That's why they have to get rid of the, the COVID people or the anti-vax people. Like, is it a crime? I mean, I, I don't like to even weigh in on that COVID stuff, you know I mean? But it's not a crime to question and talk, but they can't have that. They can't have people presenting another alternative or alternative information and letting people decide what's true. They're supposed to just listen to what they're told and accept it. And social media, people on social media are getting in the way of it. That's the problem. That's the problem with us, with Meghan Markle. That's the problem with the Dems. COVID, Trump, MAGA, Q, all of that stuff. So I just wanted to share my thoughts on that. Um, looking forward to your comments. See if you agree. Yeah, all these uh, CNN owned NPR is a government thing. So, you know, I mean, that's pretty much a socialist, the socialist news station. Fox News, is, Fox News actually got sold. A lot of people, they got sold in 20 the summer of 2020 to uh you know then you got you know nobody trusts these people they're all uh global congl international conglomerates owned by people that have an agenda period and social media is where they go to get all the maybe they don't you know you can't say that you you go to social media for the truth because there's a lot of mistruths but they go to social media for all the inf available information out there to decide for themselves. And you can't control the people on social media unless you kick them off. That's the only way you can control them is to kick them off. Just get them off. Looking forward to your comments. Um, that's uh, about it. It's nice to have my video up and that's all I'm going to say. Talk to you soon.